Hey there, folks. I'm Sirius JG. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Are you ready to party as the world burns? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, the Citadel DLC, and in the last video, we defeated our evil clone, Dark Shepherd. He's like Dark Link only, he's Shepherd. Uh, so, we defeated him, and it took me a while because I'm not that good. But the. Did I select new game? Yeah, I fixed that boat. What the hell is going on here? I haven't played in a while, so... I'm not sure why I would be asked to do this, but... Okay, well, it's the same game, so... Hmm, anyway, yeah, no, but, uh... It's been uh, off-screen. Uh, there's been a big gap between my last play session and this one. So, uh, luckily, it looks like we'll be starting things off, not with action, but with the party. Because uh, Joker and uh, the Shadow Broker robot, or Glyph, that's his name. They were, like, inviting guests, and uh, I watched the last five minutes of my last video, and the most hilarious thing, and, uh, by the way, XIUKKSIX did something a long time ago, probably. But, um... Yeah, they were inviting people to a party, and I got to make the hilarious quip. No, no, you invited Bluehead. And, uh, you know, Glyph had invited Dr. Sony, and I was like, yeah, uh, you can remove her from the guest list. Ha ha ha. Joking around about not inviting uh, Liara to our party. But, of course, Liara is welcome to our home party. And uh, so are lots of other people, presumably. And uh, although I didn't know a lot about this DLC in detail before getting it, one thing I did know is that a major component of it is just goofing off and having a lot of dialogue sequences with your friends. Because one thing the ending of Mass Effect 3, without spoiling it, is going to lack is a whole lot of happy fun times. Because, you know, the ending involves us going to Earth as it's being destroyed by Reapers and launching one last, like, potentially suicidal attempt to save it. So the ending ending is, um, before uh, they expanded it, was quite short and to the point. And uh, the last bit of, like, you know, gameplay is a desperate fight to struggle a dying, a struggle to save a dying Earth. So it's not going to be all that cheery from here on out. And while it might seem frivolous for them to be uh, having a party, um, it's against the backdrop that this might be the last party any of them ever have. So that seems fair. Commander, if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the Strip first. Maybe that's why my parties don't I work out. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. I say, maybe that's why my parties are no good in the real world, folks. I don't buy supplies. I just, like, figure people will want to come over to my place and watch, uh, Rift Tracks or something. I was like, no, they want to get drunk, dude. And they want to eat nachos. So I have to buy supplies... Glyph has already given us money. He's transferred accounts to us for that purpose. All the Anderson biography notes are still around. Which... Excuse me. Sorry, it's frankly a little irritating now because I keep looking for my private term. What's the catalog about? This is just stuff that... Oh, customize the bathroom. Standard vanity... See, I thought maybe this was like party betting. There's nothing about this costing any credits, though. Like, I don't think we actually have. Well, I'll check wall decorations. Standard shelving or standard accent wall. Yeah, whatever. I don't think that's has anything to do with anything. But for our private terminals, there's new messages. Start here. From your friends at Armax Arsenal Arena. Dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal Arena are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here at the Citadel, we recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We got a bit of a surge of interest, your interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back. <laughs> Sorry. 
We got a big surge of interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. Jeez, that's a shocker. The generic enemies of this game are now the ones who will be in your holographic simulator. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. You've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. Thanks again, your friends at Armax Arsenal. So it kind of sounds like they're recreating um, something of the um, Pinnacle Station DLC, where you just you bought a DLC which consisted of uh, holographic simulator missions that you could compete and get time trials and. The big thing that really irritated me about the Pinnacle Station DLC is that you didn't get experience. The whole point was, oh, it's a military training exercise to give soldiers experience, but you didn't get in-game experience for it. And considering that it is quite possible to be trying to get up to level 60 in a run for, you know, I want a perfect save to pass on to Mass Effect 2 purposes, and you get to the end and you didn't get enough experience, that would have been really great for that. Wrong glass, or your assistance. From Javik. Commander, I have received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Sun Strip. Although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. Oh, Javik, can't you get through approximately two senses? Well, well three senses. Stupid primitives is a separate sense. Without saying something obnoxious, you cannot. Drinks from Garrus. Shepard, when you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver Coast Casino up a f upper floor. Hopefully no dead arms dealers this time. P.S. When you uh, when you get up there, just check and make sure I'm not calibrating anything before you bother me. Lunch? Oh, from Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer. Commander, if you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. Oh, Trainer, now that we know you're a lesbian, we don't care. Shepard only cares about getting him some... No, that's not true. It's actually kind of nice that... Um, well, they put a lesbian character in a game, and you find out she's a lesbian if you talk to her enough, as opposed to the first time she is depicted in the middle of a hot lesbian accent, you know. For what it's worth. Got something to show you from James Vega. <laughs> he doesn't talk like this at all, but just to be an ass. Hey, next time you're in the Sweden apartment with time to kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. He doesn't talk anything like that. That was horrible. I'm sorry. Vegas actually got a fairly normal cadence and delivery. But yeah, he wants to talk to me. Uh, I guess we just got a lot of little scenes we can trigger. Uh, Miranda has something to say, but I don't know how to I make her talk exactly the same as um, Trainer. Shepard would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime. Normandy area. Oh, actually, I might Miranda talk a little more over the door. <coughs> and housewarming with Tally Zora. Shepard, next time you're around the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. Where I can have a thermal port for getting drunk. Shepard, I talk like Natasha. Oh, 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 Boris. So there's various people we can uh, invite over. I don't really know how this works. I, um, I think I saved a game. I will save another game just in case. I don't think we have to worry. Like, I, I certainly am not worried about, oh, min-maxing rewards from this DLC. What I'm more worried about is, oh, if we do think, if I talk to this guy before I talk to that guy, do I never get a chance to talk to that guy? And you have to do blah, blah, blah. You have three different cutesy dialogues you can see, depending on who you talk to first, and then it's so. I'm a little worried about that, possibly. But, um, to that end, I'm gonna hopefully, uh, I'll save in case it looks like, oh no, we didn't get to invite Miranda over and talk with her, because once you invite Tally over and talk to her, the next portion of stuff happens. So we'll just kind of take it as as it comes and uh and see what happens. Yeah, I'm kinda of looking forward to this actually. This should be fairly low stress. if if I ever go back and watch my own material, which I try not to do too much other than to make sure it's synced. Um 
it's and it's especially true when Bobo and I like I do a video together with Bobo or Zerfall. Um, it's always the it's never the action videos I want to see. It's always the videos where there's voice acted dialogue as part of the game and I or Bobo and I or Zerfall and I are quipping in real time as the dialogue unfolds. Those are the ones I always like. So hopefully I will be amusing and entertaining. Otherwise, it'll just be like a a subpar riff tracks where you're just like. You stop making the same tank girl called and said you have too much tanks in this movie. I'm just trying to think of like the worst ever riff tracks joke. So we leave and uh I guess now we can go I guess we have a little sandbox citadel area for the DLC with this so called strip. Yeah, I guess we have a little sandbox uh sandbox area in the DLC. I mean, the Citadel is supposed to be massive, and obviously there's not a huge amount of areas where you can go visit during the... There are areas that you don't get to visit as part of the normal game. Oh, I see. This is where you buy shit for your uh, house. Because we certainly didn't have a whole lot, did we? They gave us a lot of credits. And I guess that's the notion, is you're supposed to spend it on this stuff. I wonder if you even get to keep what you don't spend. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Uh, I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. Give me a fucking discount! What? You serve no purpose, lady. I guess they didn't want to give you a shop with no person that you could talk to. Although, yeah, being a... In, in this Mass Effect universe, I, I guess I'll... There are credits, so it's not like it's a Star Trek-style universe without money. In the Star Trek universe, they had to come up with gold-pressed latinum. I mean, they wanted to have, it's like, oh, let's have a species called the Ferengi who are, like, stereotypical... Well, I won't go into that whole discussion, but... They wanted to have, like, a greedy space society, so they had to invent... Really? Why? Exactly. It's a Mark II 2187 Black so the chick is in the cars and the dude isn't. Come on, top flight called it sky car of the century. All right, all right. Okay, so that wasn't my topic. Yeah, but in like Star Trek world, where like, oh, it's a future society and it's ideal and nobody has money, so nobody, nobody is out for personal gain, and then they decided, nah, let's go ahead and have a greedy race. So they had to invent an economy. I don't think Mass Effect is supposed to be set in a future utopian world where no one is motivated by greed and money anymore because, you know, there's money. But uh, that being said, um, it would appear that if you can make a living as a shopkeep in a world where being a shopkeep means standing next to a console and telling people, use that console there if you want to buy something. We're fighting for the fate of the galaxy. You'd think we could handle one mission as a coherent fighting unit. Squad, maybe good. Random group, never good. Wait, are you talking to one of these things like they're, they're an equal? What, what, what is happening to the Mass Effect universe I used to know? At least they made him speak in, like, stereotypical savage speak. So you're the, the good, likable member of the, the race that can't talk properly. So you're like, this, this is, uh, basically Kamari over here is what we're dealing with. I wonder if you can use blue magic. Okay, so new player need new player. You play easy, fight, lady. Yeah, you guys need Pretty to work. Queen. Follow lady. I think you guys need to work on your uh guys need to work on your uh patter. I think the, yeah, uh -huh. the notion that you could lose to these guys would be, uh, perhaps then, did I, I, oh, was I supposed to be following it there? I don't, I didn't think I bet anything. You guys don't get it. You're supposed to get our money before we, no, you lose. Too bad. 
Okay, I'll try this again, but I wonder if you get something for winning. But yeah, it doesn't appear that we're losing anything for uh Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Big winner. Big winner. What? You lose again. Oh, minus ten credits. Oops. You play. You play. The siren song, I cannot resist it. I'm actually having, I was having a hard time figuring out how you're supposed to follow it. Okay, it's the one on the left. Take a chance. You smart. You win. I think it was this one. Loser. <laughs> Try again. Oh, that time I didn't even, I wasn't paying enough attention to see which one it was that I was supposed to follow. Okay, it's the middle one. I could have a whole video of this nonsense, couldn't I? This player, I suck too hard. Now I become a Santucci. Try, try harder. You're look lucky. <laughs> Just giving away all my freaking money. I'm the lady. Oh, oh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know how you're supposed to do Big this winner. because they literally like. Okay, the whole point of this is that you know you you cross them or well, a you can cheat in various ways, but B, you're supposed to lose track of them as they cross each other. I did. No, I looked right there. That was where I was going to look. Did I run out of time or something? Yeah, that was the one I was going to check. I was actually going to win that time and I started talking. But they actually literally cross each other to the point where you can't tell what's going on. Oh, this is bugging me now. Take a chance. You smart. You win. You lose again. Take a chance. You smart. You win. You lose. You suck. Pretty lady. Yes. Yes. Bet your money. Game of skill. Oh. <laughs> what I f new player need new player finally actually was gonna win and uh, I guess it timed out on me while I was describing what makes this hard. like the actual the actual traditional thank you for that the actual traditional game you can at least kind of watch one but in this case they do they literally cross each other Never gonna get this, am I? Find the lady. Oh, oh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, big winner. Try. I want to hear the patter when you win, and that's it. And then I'm gonna load the fucking game because I've obviously lost way more than I'm gonna win. And that time I wasn't paying attention, but it doesn't seem to matter. I guess the fact that these guys are supposed to be stupid is like you tricking you into thinking you should be able to beat them. Oh man, that was the other one. I was split between those two. This will be the greatest video in the history of videos. 25 minutes of the race whose name I forget doing like corny patter. Me running out of things to tell you to make you want to play. Big 
big loser. What about you guys? You guys playing, or you just you're amazed at my failures? I'm now annoyed at how long it takes before you're allowed to play again each time. Oh man, see, I thought it was that one, but I keep I keep following it, getting it wrong. So I went with the one next to the one I thought it was. I got it. I got. It. Get over there, Shepard. Oh, you're creeping me out. Try again. Pretty lady. Yes. Yes. Bet your money. Game of skill. <laughs> again. I, I did it again. I actually followed it that time. New player. Need new player. The thing is, I keep following it back to the same position. Like, I keep being convinced it's going back. Follow lady, find lady, try harder, you know. Where? Oh, where? Oh, you lose. You're looking at a key. How many credits did I have when this started? I'm really curious now. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Big winner. You lose a it's just, oh, I'm never gonna finish this. I just want to win once to see. I mean, even in the real fucking carnival game, they always let you win once or twice in there to keep your hopes up. I would have walked away frustrated and pissed without my money long ago, except that I know I can load the game. So I know it doesn't really matter. Not to mention it's fucking, you know, in game credits, so. I sure hope the crew of the Normandy enjoys the party where they watch me lose Try this again. shell game Pretty for eight hours straight. Yes. Yes. Bet your money. Game of skill. Nope. Yep. No. Okay, it was none. It was not the one I picked, nor the one that I ended up almost picking by mistake. New player. Need new player. You play. You know, if the objective is to find the lady, you should just let me look individually under all three. I'm really starting to hate this. At what point do I just accept that you can't actually win, and that it's, uh, it actually is a, uh... Okay, I think I have to look this up later out of curiosity. And except for now, that I've been playing the damn game... Well, let's see, how much money do I have? 99468. I just have to accept the fact <laughs> that I've I played, like... I don't know, 20 times there? I don't know how many times I played and did not fucking win. So, that was a lot of time. None of us are getting that time back, folks. I apologize. We're all that much closer to death from having watched me get constantly uh, humiliated by the guys who talk like this. Ah, I'm the lady. So, how much money do I actually have here? Nine nine seven eight. So I'd lost like four hundred credits. Commander, for credits. if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase some parts on the strip first. Great. Oh, did I actually read my I messages? Have already now? placed credits in your account for this purpose. So I'm not sure if I read my messages. Uh, that might affect whether or not people populate at certain areas. Hey, we can join. Uh, Devon Seven likes to pop into the bath before um, doing trade deals and stuff. Or uh, we can take some current directly to the brain to get drunk before attempting to negotiate and kiss the female Seraphin and uh, lose the deal automatically. 
Ah, uh, the space bar. Somebody commented on the space bar recently. It had been so long since I saw that series. I was like, oh, that's lovely. Someone's watching the space bar. And it was, you know, three years on, uh, playing an incredibly obscure game that the person probably would never have seen otherwise. And they basically commented and said, why don't you shut the fuck up so I can listen to the game? And I was like, oh. so, I was so happy to see someone comment on the space bar, too. It's like, oh, look, somebody's commenting on the space... Oh, they're using swear words and telling me to fuck off. Oh. Sad. Okay, well, it looks like, um... Wait, what? Oh, no, so whatever I'm supposed to do to trigger... I didn't get extra messages. Commander. Or they disappeared or something. I don't know what happened there. I was supposed to... I'm not listening, Glyph. Obviously, I'm not listening. So, yeah, after losing like 30 times in a row, I'm, I'm going to have to quick take a peek and see can you actually win the damn shell game because that was an awful lot of losses in a row. I'm sure that you wouldn't win more than like 10 credits anyway. But yeah, in the real shell game isn't part of what you're what's going on that you're uh that they let you win like We're one and then they then you lose like thirty moves. times in a row. And once once they know you're hooked, you never win again. But I guess I just got hooked so quickly they didn't even need to feed me the uh the one win. I hate your kind. I hate them so much. Castle Arcade, that's where the combat game is, I think. So can we expect more L4 Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the Okay, leader. okay, you're beating the uh, no, he joke to death here. A raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye. He's hungry for tell. Oh, yeah, you're just rehashing the the joke. Oh man, Elcor doing Shakespeare was a cute little background detailed joke from Mass Effect 2. This is just let's give him a really over the top haughty accent and make the same joke again, but not as funny. Speaking of the Elcor, oh, here you go, same joke again, probably. With the production of Francis Kidd's All Elcor Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. I hear that you're hungry for talents. Oh, hijacks. Ah, amusing. So amusing. We can meet Javik. Am I, I'm seriously going to have a whole video that's just me fucking uh, losing Welcome that card game. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey! So this is the Silver Coast Casino. Alright, well, this was... Uh, we had a pretty big chunk of the game was set here with uh, dodging the security cameras and stuff, but apparently we didn't need to worry about this being a place we couldn't return to. Because I went around exploring all this dialogue. Ooh, suspicious device. Brutal. I see different skill classes chatting about their skills. Nice. Uh, ex apparently examining the suspicious device leads to a new thing. Fennec, hit the comm. Oh. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. Generics, they trigger do the things. Lockdown. Well, I guess, you uh, Kasumi's sensors. here. And that's that'll alert security. Burke, steal a uniform. You go in as security. See, in theory, I should, the be, I should like her character as, like, the gentlewoman thief Whoops. Kasumi, but I nice. I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? Oh, I was supposed to just leave her alone? Take a walk, guys. I guess I was supposed to leave her I alone. I don't oh, care, you're a thief. But yeah, the nice, the paragon thing for justice-oriented Shepard to do is to be like, oh, I don't care if you're going to knock off a casino. 
I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you happy now that your boyfriend is just memory and friends friends or whatever the hell your plot People was? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. Ah, oh, see, she's making people win jackpots. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the reapers it's win. Good. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stephen, I'm the gentlewoman thief, because who I am. Without it, I... Six days a second. By the way, are you going to call security? Oh, apparently you can't just be a dick and get her arrested. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on. You, what do you mean you never get caught? You fucking walked in speaking out loud to your confederates about how you're going to rob the place. Shepard caught you by paying no attention whatsoever, really. She is not good no. at her job. No problem at all. Although there's a couple of those... Um, Blood Pack Jobbers, I can't remember the name of their species, but they're downstairs running a shell game, and I think it's pretty shaky. So there you go. We we got to meet with Kasumi. We apparently did not get to invite her to the party. I don't know. Maybe she'll show up anyway. Maybe she'll pick the wrong party to crash. Anyway, folks, well... I guess technically the video wasn't a complete waste of time. We met with Kasumi. But uh, when we come back, I will have taken a moment to see how much did I completely waste my time at that shell game? My time, and more importantly, yours? Or was it at least possible to win? Uh, I'll see what there is to see on the webs, and I'll let you know next time as we continue with what could be... I mean, God, it's shaping up to be a lot of cutesy little dialogue scenes in this DLC. And you know what? If you're like a hardcore Mass Effect fan who's been playing the series from the beginning, then, yeah, it's a fan service DLC. Go figure. I mean, you actually go on, like, the PlayStation Network store and look at uh, add-ons, and for a while there, you had, like, 800 different Dead or Alive costume, like, Dead or Alive sexy costume for such and such character is a dollar, and they would have, like, just, ugh, I don't even have Dead or Alive 5, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> anyway, sorry, um, that wasn't particularly, uh eloquent thing to say but uh no it's uh, this is the fan service dlc for mass effect so it is what it is and what it is is continuing on the next video thanks for watching folks and i'll see you then